In elderly people, it's the most deadly disease among all cancers. Patients, if they develop acute myeloid leukemia, basically their blood forming system uh, will be screwed up. Basically, they will occupied by all these morphologically ugly looking cancer cells so that they cannot produce their normal functional blood cells, including red cells and platelet and white cells. And most of the time patients, if they die from leukemia, they die either because of severe bleeding or they die because of infection or because of repeated treatment that we are giving the patient that cause damage to different organs in the body. The reason why it was so deadly is because it didn't really respond to conventional chemotherapy very well. And one of the reasons is that it's a very diverse group of diseases. It's not one disease, but it's multiple, many, many different diseases. And pretty much for each patient, the unique genetic makeup of the leukemia is pretty different. And therefore, it's very difficult to identify one single approach that could be suitable for different patients. We have to deal with uncertainty, especially when you talk about elderly AML, which very often the outcome is not as good as what you would wish. It's a disease model whereby you can actually look at mutation effect at a very high throughput. I mean, we once you inject, for example, a um, mutant gene in leukemia, or you knock out a particular genes, you can pretty much see the effect within like 48 hours or so. I mean, that makes it very unique. And we can model the disease with the specific mutation combinations that you will have in a silverfish model. And because of the high throughput nature of the platform, that we can pretty much use the silverfish as a screening platform whereby we can identify specific therapeutic agent, and often novel therapeutic agent that would work specifically for the AML subtype of yours. Therefore, that it, it may not help right away, but it can actually provide very important needs for us to carry on in terms of further mechanistic study, as well as clinical trials. When you get into hematology, and of course there are different diseases, some of these are very interesting, and acute myeloid leukemia is one of the diseases in hematology that definitely have a, a mad clinical need. We want to do better, we want the patient to be treated better with better outcome. And that's why I ended up in doing leukemia research. One of the major motivations is basically from our daily encounters with patients and their families. I mean, at the time when they were happy because they get to respond and at the time when they were very uh, upset if they had a relapse and so on. I mean, these day-to-day -day encounters pretty much give us the motivation to uh, move on and to uh, do our research in a better way.